I guess it kind of started with Matt Hovermill and uh, his group of friends. They just yeah! wanted to ride bikes, wanted to have a spot to ride bikes. A lot of people in the community kind of looked down on tearing up ledges around town, things like that. So it kind of leads to us wanting a public place, you know, that we can share with other kids and, you know, even adults that want to have a place to go out and exert some energy and, you know, create some smiles on bikes, yeah. skateboards, yeah, and whatever. In like 2010 when we finally got that Tony Hawk grant and then, you know, they laid some asphalt. We brought in a half pipe from a local guy who owns the BS Tattoo Shop. It kind of grew from there pretty quickly. Um, we ran out of money <laughs> after that. It's been like a group of about five of us here and there. We're just kind of putting in all the time and effort that we can into making it, you know, a better place, making it a rad spot to ride. 100% volunteer. Everyone out there just is out there so that they can come back and have a good time. You know, everyone is doing it for the community, but at the same time, doing it for ourselves, you know, so that we can just go out and smile together, you know, have, have fun. We've always done things like that. You know, a, a group of about five to ten has always existed, you know, in this area that's been tight friends who had a spot to ride. Now we're just sharing it with everyone else. Right now we use social media, you know, we use Instagram and Facebook. Also a group chat of a few of us and we just, anytime we have spare moment and you know, some money, we get together, buy some supplies, make something happen. We kind of let it happen organically and we don't really plan a ramp project very far in the future. Maybe, you know, sometimes a few weeks in advance, but we pretty much work with a pretty lenient schedule. I feel like it does. I feel like it's been very progressive over the last few years. There's been a handful of kids that, you know, came up there with kind of, I don't want to say sour attitudes, but not the same attitudes that they carry today. You know, there's a lot more. I feel like a smile is contagious. And if those kids are up there and they're seeing us having a good time, smiling, you know, riding bikes, they want to be involved in that a lot of times. And like I said, we've seen a few kids progress with not only, like, skill on the bicycle or skateboard but progress with their attitude and just the way that they carry themselves just you know from hanging out with some older you know kids <laughs> there definitely is but we try our best to not focus on anything like that you know we are always out there having a good time and even if there's someone out there that wants to spoil the good time, we're gonna have a good time anyway, so like I said, we just try not to focus on any of that stuff. Definitely motivation to get out there and prove that, you know, we're not just a bunch of hellions or whatever. Suddenly find interest in something political like that or something that we wouldn't necessarily find interest in because we have to be involved in things like that to better the park. It's definitely something that, you know, has taught me a lot about not just, you know, ramp building and those things, but how people, you know, in the community are willing to help out, you know, when they see that it's just volunteers. There are a lot of people who are willing to, you know, come out and be part of that that wouldn't necessarily want to be part of it otherwise. There's a lot of political stuff that I wouldn't have any interest in if it wasn't for the park. Uh, the park's actually funded by Parks and Recs, Morgan County Parks and Recs, and they pay some guys, you know, to do lawn care and to take out the trash and things like that. Other than that, we're, you know, we're doing the ramp building and things because 
honestly, the people that they would pay, they they wouldn't be able to create the smiles that we're able to create building what we're building because we are the riders, you know. We use pretty much 100% recycled materials, so we've brought a lot of ramps in there from other spots that have become, you know, dilapidated or just need to be, you know, brought back to life or, you know, we've had a lot of different situations where we just happen to, you know, be asked if we want, we were willing to give the ramps a new home and the park seems to be the perfect place for that. We bring stuff there, bring it back to life and, you know, usually gets a few seasons out of it and we bring it back to life again or, you know, destroy it and rebuild. Um, we've had a few jams and raised some money and then spent it, you know, on ply and supplies, you know, as soon as we as soon as we could, you know, we try to make a quick turnaround out of everything so that, you know, it's not just going to waste. Um, but most of it, honestly we haven't raised much at all from any events, but most of it has been money out of pocket from just like a few of us buying ply when we have extra money, buying paint when we have extra money. We're all bike riders that hang there, so we try to keep it more of a, you know, more of a bike park because of that. We have some real unique stuff, you know, like the jump line is something that not a lot of skate parks have. You know, we use wood, so it's mostly like private spots that are doing that, you know, so that itself makes it unique, I think. A lot of other city parks are, you know, concrete or prefab metal parks, things like that. What we have is 100% unique because we're creating it. It's not something that, you know, we're purchasing. I mean, we've had kids from all over. We've had people from Richmond, people from Hagerstown come down regularly, Winchester, Virginia, Martinsburg, um, Cumberland, Maryland. Within like an hour radius, there's definitely a big scene of people who enjoy it. But we've had people come from. I do drove from like Texas to the to last year's jam. Um, a couple kids from Jersey that are in town, you know, checking things out. We've had kids from all over the place, really. I don't think that it's limited to any radius, you know, as far as that goes. The cool thing about what we do is a lot of people travel to do it, so. If someone is anywhere near what we're what we have going on and they see it and they're interested in it, you know, they'll drive out of their way to make that happen or they'll add it could it could be a destination at this point, you know, it's a, it's really progressing and I hope that it keeps progressing. It's, every year it feels better and better and this year felt the best so far. So. It's great. It's the new jump line is awesome. Everyone seems to be really into it. Come check it out. I'm going to need a transfer.